Hey everybody, if I haven't met you yet, my name is David Wolf. I learned that from a pastor of mine <laughs> at Rivers Crossing. And I met this gentleman here. His name is Jeff Hale. Jeff is a pastor, was a pastor at Rivers Crossing. Um, he is a huge success story. Lost a hundred pounds as of today. Yep. What a great way to celebrate that milestone by taking him up in the air for his introductory flight on a paramotor, which we're gonna do this evening. It's gonna be epic. I figured, you know, I'd show him a little bit of God's country tonight, right? Hey, uh, you know, Pastor yep. God. Right, never mind. Um, I thought this would be a great opportunity also to kind of go over how uh, I do my pre-flight briefing with each of my uh, tandem passengers before they go up for their introductory flight. And it is an introductory flight. You know, it is an educational experience. Um, we're gonna, we've already learned a lot about weather tonight. On um, you know, just standing here watching the windsock above me, and it's been doing some crazy things. We're letting it settle down a little bit more. But um, we're going to do some educating. You know, hopefully, if Jeff's comfortable, he's going to take the controls. We're going to learn about how to steer the paramotor as well. And if he loves it, well, then maybe he'll do some training, and uh, I'll refer him to uh, some good trainers out there. But uh, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to go through that pre-flight briefing and uh, just to see exactly how I do it. So uh, we've already talked a little bit about Jeff's experience. He's done parasailing, right? Yep. Tell us One a time. About that. Yeah. So it was at Walt Disney World in the bay right by magic kingdom they basically just kind of take you up take you around a couple times and bring you back down to the boat yeah so we've talked a little bit about the similarities and more of the differences between parasailing and paramotoring we've talked a little bit about my experience that i've been paramotoring for over three well almost three years now so i like to show my students i do have my tandem exemption it is through the aerosports connection uh, giving me the exemption from the faa i'm a uh, certified instructor got my training from these guys one up adventures but uh, I absolutely love doing the, uh, the tandems, the introductory flights, just giving opportunity for people to see what it's like to actually fly. All right, so Jeff, what we have here is the Fly Products Flash Cruiser. So there's a couple different components that we have here. The trike itself is called the Flash Cruiser. And as you can see, it is made by a company called Fly Products. Hi, Plane. Trying to make a video here. All right, cool. <laughs> so as I was saying, it is made by Fly Products. This frame here, this is my paramotor, and this is also made by Fly Products, and this is called the Rider Frame. Now, on the back of the Rider Frame is attached the Vitarazzi Moster 185. I love this motor. It's been extremely reliable for me, and with this, I can take passengers, I say about up to 210 pounds. So, Jeff is now down to 178, which means as of today, we can take him up on a tandem flight. Uh, a couple components of it, uh, these little line holders here, I strap the glider in, these kind of hold the lines and kind of guide the lines up into the right position so they don't go into the prop, things like that. Little tension lines here to keep the cage from actually flexing when it does get the tension of the glider lines pulling against it. Got two different seats here, so when you do get into the paramotor, there's going to be three buckles for you. And easiest thing to do is we'll lay these out like this, one buckle goes here, one buckle goes here and then you've got one that goes right across the center so three different buckles okay because what happens is i'll get in first and then you'll get in after me okay this is a roll bar here it has a couple different purposes one this is called an a-line assist so this will actually help pull the front of the glider up into the position that we want it to be in when we do the takeoff if there's an unlikely event where we actually have a bad wing or the wind changes on us and the whole thing rolls over this roll bar will keep us safe and keep us from crushing our skulls, okay? Uh, the foot pegs down here. It's very important, then, and I'll remind you this too as we're about to launch and we're about to land. Especially on launch and landing, you keep your feet on these pegs. If you bring your foot down, it could get trapped underneath. You could easily break a, a, an ankle or a leg. Down here, this red handle. This is my reserve. I don't expect to use it ever, but if there ever was an emergency, we do have it. Uh, on our helmets, we're going to have some comms going, so we'll be able to talk back and forth if you have any questions. I'm also going to tap your shoulder. It's going to be kind of hard to hear me when I'm at full throttle when we're launching, but I'll tap your shoulder. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you're doing okay. If you're not, at any time, we can always bring the paramotor down. We're always going to be flying over landable terrain. We're not going to fly over any water whatsoever. But wherever we're flying, if the motor should go out, which is highly unlikely, this motor, knock on wood, has never gone out. But if the motor does go out, we'll be able to land safely down just like we would any other time. One other thing too, when you are sitting in the seat, we've already talked about your feet, 
but especially on takeoff, you want to keep your arms inside. Just in case we do roll, I don't want you out here, I don't want you to stick your hand out to the side and try to brace or catch yourself because that'll just break your arm. Pockets. Uh, make sure your keys, nothing's in your pockets. I'm okay if you do want to keep your cell phone in there. If you want to take it out and take pictures, you're welcome to. Just kind of keep it in front of your chest. Don't stick it out to the side where it could fall and we'll lose it forever. Or worse, it goes through my prop and then I get really upset. Yeah. Okay. If for some reason the wing doesn't come up or I just feel something's not safe, we're going to abort the launch. We're just going to kill the motor. I showed you before when I started up the motor how I killed the motor with the kill switch. And we'll just go ahead and reset up and take off again. Not a big deal. I just want to make sure that it's all safe. I'll even be saying on the comms, we got a good wing. We're going to, we're going to go ahead and launch. We're going to go up now. So now while we're flying, if you do feel comfortable, I'm going to say to you, would you like to take the controls? In which case, I'm going to probably pass you the tip steering. There's two different types of steering, and you'll see that when I pull out the glider. Uh, there's the big, big handles, which really I just use for takeoff and landings. And then when I'm really flying, because this glider that we're going to be using is so big, I just like to use the tip steering. It just makes it a lot easier. So I'll pass that to you, and we'll discuss in the air how to steer the glider. The glider that we're going to be using today is going to be an Ozone Triax. It's a 38 meter glider. It's an extremely safe glider and I've, I've really enjoyed flying it. So when we uh, are ready to land, we're going to be talking about landing. We're going to be coming down. The last thing I'll probably ask you to do is just move your head to the side. Make sure your feet are on the pegs. Just one last check. We'll come down. We'll probably come down really slow, almost even low pass, and then just drop it down and just kind of taxi right back here to the pickup truck. So one last thing I will tell you, and I, I'm kind of have to tell everybody this is not a certified FAA aircraft this is an ultralight aircraft and this flight is for training purposes only which is what we're doing taking the first step hopefully yes sir <laughs> any questions for me I don't think so you explained it well all right so the wind socks swaying a little bit I think in the next probably 20 minutes we're gonna be good so at this point what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the glider we'll get everything ready to go and hopefully get airborne here shortly all right it's exciting you excited yeah I am awesome cool I'm going to take my lines. I use those line holders that I was talking about. And these are the carabiners that are going to go into what we call the connection points. And that's what's going to hold the glider for us. The A-line assist here. And what this will do is this will pull the glider up to exactly where I want it to be. If I was foot launching, I would actually have to hold, these are called the A's, the front lines, A's, B's, and C's, okay? Okay. I'd have to pull them up but this does the work for me. And then what I'll do is I'll go behind my triox here, and I'm gonna go to the very center cell, which is right behind the ozone logo. I'm gonna line it up with the very back of my trike, and I'm gonna pull it until I see those two A lines come nice and tight, right just like that, and set it up. And then I can pull where all the other front lines are, just pull it back, so it should come up nice, and even for us and then one last important thing when I get to the very end here I want to make sure that there's no lines on the outside either you thought this was a joy ride didn't you <laughs> this is education <laughs> arms are in you ready to fly yes sir all right I don't know how to do this <laughs> feet on the pegs correct yep both feet are there yes sir there you go we're gonna go for launch
That was awesome, man. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. You, you want to pray a little bit? <laughs> I was praying up there. I don't know if you were. <laughs> yeah, absolutely I was. No, that was awesome. Good, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, man. Like I told you, it's spiritual sometimes. It really can be. Well, everybody, I hope you had a good time watching. Um, watching Jeff make his introductory flight. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. If you want to go up and you're in the area, just uh, let me know. I'd love to take you up. All right. Any last words, Chef? It was awesome. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.